So, you guys seem to like Angry Birds as much as I do. Well, if that's true, then you must like all of the birds, too. Oh, so you like the Angry Birds, then? Name every bird. You can't do it? <laughs> Amateur. Watch this. There's Red, the Blues, Chuck, Bomb, Matilda, Hal, Terrence, Bubbles, Stella, Silver, Leonard, Melody, Tony, the Eggs, Rhinoceros, Greybird, Ruby, Female, White Bird, Striped Bird, Penguin, Mighty Dragon, Mighty Basketball, Tonic the Hedgehog, Developer Birds, Bomb Bomb, Nana, Bilabino Bird, Coco Bird, Obama Bird, and the Mighty Eagle. Okay, fine, you got me. That is only 30 of the insane list of Angry Birds in this game. Yes, the word bird certainly gets stretched to its limits here. But rest assured, the Angry Birds wiki has all the information we need on all of these, even ones like Bomb Bomb and Obama Bird. I apologize that these more obscure ones only have a single PNG showing on screen, but I don't really know what else to tell you. Also, this is basically a part one. If you guys like this video enough, I'd be more than happy to cover the rest. Keep in mind the insane amount of birds in the Star Wars and Transformers games. And there are some crazy ones like Don Cheeto Bird left over too, don't worry. Now, without further ado, Let's discuss which birds are part of the flock, and which ones should switch careers to TikTok. Friends sometimes kiss each other, right? Before this video gets absolutely insane, let's have just a moment of normalcy. Obviously the later ones will be full of jokes, but let's take this main cast seriously, okay? Red is everyone's main man. If you were to guess what his name is, most likely you would get it right. He's the most basic bird of the group, but does get his personality in some media like Angry Birds tunes. He's pretty uptight, yet caring. He's almost like the mom of the group, besides Matilda, of course. And while he's cool and all, he is certainly the Mario of the series. He literally has no power in the majority of the games, which is crazy, but it also means I have no qualms about putting him in B tier. Otherwise known as Jay, Jake, and Jim. There can only be one Jake! <clears throat> the Blues are the three wacky brothers, always up to shenanigans. I always thought it was cool that their power from the original game translated them into three different characters rather than a guy that splits up into clones on command. Blue is also my favorite color, so they get props for that. But in the tune specifically, I always found them to be extremely annoying. They're like the Jerry of the series, while everyone else is Tom. They can't lose and they're selfish and evil. I genuinely want the pigs to put them on the stove and crank up the heat. And they can only break ice in the game, which is super unhelpful. I don't even bring them in when I play Angry Birds 2. So ultimately, I don't hate them enough for D tier, but I will say C tier. Let's start with some compliments. He is great at breaking wood, no doubt about that. He's able to reach pretty high places that most birds have no shot at. What else? What else? I, I like his eyebrows. Okay, I can't take it anymore. He's too full of himself and he's just the worst. It's Angry Birds Toon's fault that I hate him, okay? I hardly ever given an episode to redeem himself. He's always the villain somehow. Thunderchuck gave him a chance, but otherwise he's just a dick all the time. And nobody likes a dick all the time. Sometimes, sure, sure, I'll tolerate it. Let's go. But all the time, you're pushing your luck, Scoob. D tier. <laughs> what the actual? Okay, okay. I'm sorry if you're like in love with the Yellow Bird from the Angry Birds franchise, but don't worry. I'll get down and dirty with Bomb any day. Not only is his power OP in nearly every scenario, not only does he get the shockwave ability that is crazy cool, not only is he a chill guy that I want to hang out with, but he is also the bomb. Also, this white dot on his head is STUPID! D tier. Oh, come on, I got you, didn't I? You started screaming and throwing your iPad on the ground and stomping around the living room, didn't you? Well, knock it off! He's clearly an S, we all know it, so let's stop crying and move on. Like I said, Matilda is really the mom for the birds. She cooks them food, she nurtures the eggs, she actually is constantly giving birth to new eggs on the battlefield. Wait, what the f- She's murdering her children?! Somebody called ambulance, we're losing them! I think I'm scarred for life. A tier. Hal is literally the best bird. I don't know why I like him so much, honestly. I think I just like the guy that they always forget about. Hal is so underused that when he shows up ever, I start bashing my head into the wall with excitement. His power is crazy, giving you the ability to attack from behind. I have so many fond memories of him as a kid, like the stage in the original Angry Birds where Terrence and him are the only playable characters, or that summer picnic animation. So freaking epic. He's going in S, clearly. While he may seem like just another Redbird, Terrence is so much more than that. He's crazy powerful and he's a man of mystery. What's his backstory? Is he a god or is he just a peculiar bird? That's just the thing, nobody knows. I like that about Terrence. He sticks with the flock even though he clearly could ascend to another plane of existence with the bat of an eye. I think that's ass material. 
Who doesn't love the cute widow guy they introduced for the Halloween levels of Angry Birds Seasons? All my inflation loving homies out there stand bubbles. I really can't blame them, it's a pretty unique power that can really take out some pigs when he needs to. I've also always loved his tie to the Halloween events in each game. It makes him feel unique. Also, he is voiced by Ian Smosh in the movie, so bonus points, duh. I'll say A tier. He's cute, but his power isn't perfect, and he doesn't do a whole lot. Well, when Stella was introduced, I don't think they were really leaning towards the feminine look from Attila yet, so she was kind of a big deal, although it's kind of awkward since she was released for the back-to-school stages. What are you trying to say, Rovio? Enough about sexes, and let's talk about her power. She uses bubbles, not the bird, I know that's confusing, to lift up the objects around her and then pops them, letting the items fall and cause damage. Honestly, unless a stage is made for her, she's not that helpful. I'd probably go for Red before Stella in most cases, but I honestly like her design a lot, and we can't neglect the fact that she starred in her own game. The game never received an update, but she did have unique power to jump from block to block, pushing things over in the process. I thought that power was pretty cool, and it was way more helpful than the mainline one. Let's see, I, I like her design, but I, ha I hate her power. I guess a B then? Yeah, let's pretend I'm confident. While Silver was created way after most of the birds in the franchise, she is the next mainline character. In Angry Birds 2, she was the brand new bird, and her power is not very good. She does a little spin and then slams straight down. In the original Angry Birds game, I could see this being helpful, but in most instances, I would rather use any other bird than her in the sequel. And with the newer version, I can literally leave her out of the flock, which I always do. I think her design is fun and the power is definitely unique, but ultimately it just isn't great. Also, she never gets used in any other game. She's just a main character in the second movie for some reason. And that design sucked. And she was a love interest for Red, which also sucked. I'm going all the way down to D. Sorry. I wanted so badly not to include Leonard, but in the end I decided to include everyone that was listed as a bird on the wiki. Now, we're both looking at Leonard, and he's not fooling us. That's a freaking pig. But in Angry Birds 2, he's part of the flock with his own power and everything. What's the power? Oh, nothing, just <gasps> three snap bombs. <gasps> Basically, you can choose when to fire them, sending them backwards each time. If you're like a genius, you can pull out some pretty crazy stunts with this. But you cannot tell me you've ever done crazy good with this guy, right? It's very complex. I think it's really cool, and I'm not going to dock points for it, but seriously, it is hard to master. Also, one last important thing. He's not a bird, D tier. Melody is the newest bird in the series, just recently being added to Angry Birds 2. Her power is extremely helpful since it sucks up all the items in front of her and you have this option of shooting them wherever you choose. I found that boss fights are especially great for her since you can just take half their damage out with Melody alone. Not a huge fan of the design I've got to say, although I am happy that she started the brown bird, continuing the tradition of choosing a new color for each main flock member. Again, her power is just so helpful. She takes out whole buildings with just one big ol' suck. She's pretty cool, I'll give her an A tier. I remember when Terrence knocked on Tony's door and we see this light blue bird for the first time. It's pretty rare to see new birds included, especially in Angry Birds Seasons, so it was really awesome to get something new. Tony was like a prototype silver where he goes straight down when he uses power. He also is as strong as Terrence which definitely helps out clear stage. If you don't need his power you can just go through a structure like Terrence would. It's pretty cool. My personal headcanon is that Tony is the child of Terrence and Icebird, but maybe they're cousins, okay? Either way, I already love Terrence, so a blue version is even more awesome. S tier. I wanted more than anything to not include the eggs on this list, but for the sake of consistency, here they are. I'm a firm believer that the eggs came before the chickens, which means they can't possibly be one and the same. Let's look at the wiki to see why these count as birds. Um, says they're pronounced as Agna. Angry Birds Universe has normal eggs, but these are not the same. They have been used as food, such as cakes. Okay, screw you Angry Birds Wiki, this shouldn't count. You get D tier. I've been waiting this whole tier list just so we can get to Rhinoceros. While they are never playable, they did appear in the same form as pigs and birds with just their heads, and need to be saved in some bird day levels in the original game. Sadly they haven't appeared since then, but we can dream that the third Angry Birds movie will bring their return. While they have a fun design, they didn't do anything, so they get a B. This is an interesting one. Some early art for the Angry Birds game shows this gray bird. It's clearly not Matilda, and Silver has now replaced this guy, but nevertheless, he definitely existed at some point and clearly is more of a bird than Rhinoceros. Is it just me, or does this character look like Bomb and Chuck died and they Frankenstein their body parts into the gray bird? I think I might be onto something. He really does have a bit of charm to him, but not enough to make me care. C tier. Oh man. 
Ruby is so hot. Oh, what the? Girl bird's corpse? Rovia, that is messed up, man, on like so many levels. Anyways, Ruby is so cute and I like her. Angerous fans famously love her for like no reason. She's never done anything other than look cute. So I'm not gonna rain on their parade. Let's put her in A. On the other hand, we got female white bird over here. News flash, Matilda is female, so your title is quite redundant. Furthermore, you Ruby wannabe, the fans don't even like you, considering you're still known as female white bird. Get dogged on, loser. D tier. Striped bird? Striped bird? Striped bird? Striped bird? Striped bird? Oh yeah, striped bird. Why are the cruelties this just born child has faced? Well, let me tell you. The flock rudely painted their own egg just before they are about to hatch, and the paint bled through the egg and dyed the skin of their child. Then, they named the bird after the deformity they caused. Poor little fella. He is really cute, though. The stripes are honestly an improvement. Huh. I'll give you a pity beat here. You can't convince me that this penguin is not an egg in disguise. Do you know how I know this? Look very closely. Right there at the bottom. Feet. Angerwords do not have feet. This is an imposter. If you're sus, you go in D tier. That's just the rules. I don't make them. I just enforce them. If you're a real OG Angerwords fan, then you religiously watch the cinematic trailers. And that Angerwords Year of the Dragon short was one of the coolest ones by far. The Mighty Dragon is the main star of the animation, who seems pretty scary and ominous. He's quite cute in the game though, but I really don't mind that. It's honestly really cool to have a straight up dragon alongside the rest of these guys. Ni hao. Mighty little friends. Uh. I love him a lot, and he deserves an S ranking. This time, they've gone too far! What is cool about replacing a mighty eagle with a basketball? A Spalding one, no less. Nothing. Nothing is cool about a mighty basketball. Basketballs can't be mighty. That's just a fact. We all know this. Basketballs can't be birds either. Just ask science. Therefore, this neither excites me nor fits the criteria of being a bird, so I have no choice but to put it in D tier. The darkest pit of hell is open to swallow you whole, so don't keep the devil waiting, old friend. Sonic the Hedgehog, he's an awesome hedgehog. I know all of you guys love Epic for some stupid reason, so it's no brainer that you love the only new bird added in that game, Sonic the Mother Flippin' Hedgehog. This is not a joke, by the way. I don't make jokes. If something I say seems funny, that's your fault, not mine. They really went all out with this update, too. Most of these weird characters are just seen once, and that's that. But Sonic can join your party, he's playable. He has a full moveset and there were some Sonic themed gear that are added too. Even the enemies for this event were from Sonic. I suppose Angry Birds had some strange crossovers as full games like Transformers, so it's not that crazy. They really didn't try too hard on his animations, so that sucks. But otherwise, as previously stated, this is Sonic the Hedgehog. Way past cool, man. Sonic is an S tier bird, what more can I say? These are technically three different birds, but my opinion on them is all the same, so let's do them together. These are the first birds of the list that are based on real people, but don't you worry, it only gets better from here. They are known as the developer birds, and as the name implies, they are based on the developers of the game. They honestly look a lot like the actual people, but they have some fun colors as well. I especially like their hair and the giant foreheads on those two. But they're also boring and not really funny or exciting in any way, so I think B would be a nice spot for them. Tell me why Bomb Bomb has the absolute coolest design in Angry Birds history, yet has never really existed. He was found in the files of Angry Birds Seasons and looks like a combination of the Blues and Bomb, where it's split in three and then each one would blow up. Now, that's really awesome, and I imagine this would be a lot of fun. For some reason, they never used him, but for real, it's just a way better version of Bomb. He's super cute, and I'm putting him in S tier. So, uh, here's Nana. She's from Nana and the Magic English Words. You may be wondering how she has anything to do with Angry Birds, but look, there's Stella. Really don't need any more evidence than that. She's the main character of a manga where she meets Stella and all of her friends. She's just like an anime child. I don't like her one bit. She's quite possibly as distant from being a bird as you can be. So you gotta be D tier. Hate to break it to you, Nana. Bilibino Bird is pretty self-explanatory. C tier. What, you need more? Fine, you greedy pig. This guy's a bird zona for a clothing line. I like when real people are birdified, but I think it's lame when they just have hair and clothes. Like, try harder. The developer birds are a great example of this. Birds don't got no hair, they have feathers. If this guy has hair, that means he's not really a bird, which means I don't like him, which means he's in C tier. Happy now? Alright, I might have to take back everything I just said, considering we just got to Coco Bird. 
Sadly, this plush they made for April Fools is the only thing we have from this guy, so it'll just have to do. If you didn't figure this out yet, this is Conan O'Brien in bird form. It may clearly be a modified Matilda plush, but I don't care. I love him. So much personality in just one simple image, I can't get over this guy. A tier, obviously. I genuinely don't think anyone is prepared for this one. After this, I'm going to rank Mighty Eagle, and then that's it. We have the two most important Angry Birds back to back here, so take notes, people. I present to you the one and only Obama Bird. What more can I say? Now that you've witnessed perfection, your life can't go back to the way it once was. I don't even want to show you this other image of Obama family as Angry Birds, but I have to just so you can understand the flaws in it. There's only one Obama Bird in my heart, and you're looking at him. Weep, knowing that you will never have the experience of seeing Obama Bird for the first time again. Sob, understanding that you cannot be Obama Bird, and cry, discovering that Obama Bird is not real and cannot be your friend. This is a burden we all must bear now, but we can bear it together. We've peaked. This is S tier. Let's salute him as we sadly move on to our last entry. I specifically saved the Mighty Eagle to end on because I wanted to end with something iconic and awesome. He's the last main flock member to cover, and what a guy he is. He is by far the most powerful bird in the original game, and he just looks so cool. That huge beak, the tiny mischievous little eyes, that lovable beer, <laughs> that lovable beer belly of his, it's all amazing. Let's forget the version of him in the movie though, I know people love him too. And let's be happy together as we put this actually cool bird in S tier. Oh, that's it! We did it! As I mentioned earlier, if you guys enjoyed this, there could be so many more episodes where we go through the rest. I think you probably underestimate the amount of birds that exist in this universe. There could be a whole Star Wars themed video, that's how many ones are in just that one game. And don't worry, some fun ones like Birdie Pie are left to cover in the future too. I'd absolutely love to keep going, so please support this video and let me know if you want a part 2. Also let me know who I should cover in part 2, should we get Star Wars done with or should it be a mismatch of series like this video was? And if you have any other ideas for ranking videos you'd want to see, let me know. I hope you enjoyed the video, I tried to be silly but give honest answers for the main cast as best I could. Let me know how you would rank these guys. Alright, thanks for watching, I will see you soon. Goodbye. Oh nothing, just three snot bombs? <gasps> Wait, what? <laughs> oh nothing, just three snot bombs? <gasps> Oh, nothing, just three snot bombs. <gasps> <laughs> oh, nothing, just <gasps> three snot bombs. <laughs> oh, nothing, just three snot bombs. <gasps> oh, nothing, just <gasps> three snot bombs. <gasps> <laughs> oh, nothing, just three, <gasps> three snot bombs. <gasps>